Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we'll unlock the book Willpower, Rediscovering the Greatest Human Strength. Since the beginning of his career, social psychologist Roy Baumeister has conducted many experimental observations. He found that many couples eventually break up, because they continually fought over trivial issues. Many husbands and wives have also experienced this problem. It seemed that merely being together would cause them to fight. Some people even reported trying to find a place to have a drink after work or socialize with friends, in order to arrive home late and avoid any further conflicts. In spite of this, Baumeister advised them to go home early after work. Some people were confused, why give couples more time to fight with each other? Baumeister didn't see it this way. His research showed that many people were exhausting their willpower at work, and they had none left to deal with their partner's demands and annoying habits when they got home. So when their partner said something they didn't like or asked for something, the other person often responded in a mean sarcastic manner, thus turning the situation into a bitter quarrel. Baumeister suggested that people go home early, that is when they still have enough energy or willpower. Only with a certain amount of willpower can you deal with family affairs. Our willpower like an account balance is a fixed value, which requires us to spend our wealth of willpower as wisely as we manage our finances. The book Willpower, Rediscovering the Greatest Human Strength is a practical willpower training manual. This book will tell you how to maintain your willpower and help you become a focused, self-disciplined, and efficient person. The authors of this book are Roy F. Baumeister and John Tierney. Roy F. Baumeister is a leading authority in social psychology. He has published more than 450 scientific papers and won the William James Fellow Award, the highest honor in the American psychology community. John Tierney is a science columnist at the New York Times. His writing has won awards from the American Association for the Advancement of Science and the American Institute of Physics. Since its publication, the book Willpower, Rediscovering the Greatest Human Strength has been highly praised by many scholars and best-selling authors. Daniel Todd Gilbert, author of Stumbling on Happiness commented that, Willpower is sinfully delicious. Once you start reading, you won't be able to stop. A fascinating account of the exciting new science of self-control. David Allen, author of Getting Things Done praised the book by saying, Tierney and Baumeister have produced a highly intelligent work full of fascinating information and great advice about a core element of modern living. Bravo! Next, we'll introduce this book in three parts. Part 1. What is Willpower? Part 2. How is Willpower Depleted? Part 3. How to Improve Your Willpower? Let's start with Part 1. What is Willpower? In the book, the authors define willpower as people's capacity to regulate their thoughts, feelings, and actions, and it is closely related to our success. Studies have found that in school, people with high levels of self-control perform better academically. In the workplace, people who have a higher level of self-control have better interpersonal relationships and more opportunities for development. In other words, people with strong self-control do a better job in regulating their thoughts, feelings, and actions. They are able to reduce the depletion of willpower in their studies, life, and work, as well as overcome mental fatigue and better organize their lives. There are three characteristics of willpower. The most essential one is that you have a finite amount of willpower that becomes depleted as you use it. For example, if you are a person who cares about appearance, you wash your face, wash your hair, and wear matching clothes every day. But if you are recently overloaded at work and are busy every day, you may not be too particular about appearance. You may even forget to wash your hair for days on end or neglect wearing fashionable clothes. This is because we have a finite amount of willpower. When you put too much willpower into one thing, your willpower is used up, and you have no energy left for additional tasks. This also explains the problem of marital relations that we talked about in the beginning. People's limited willpower is depleted in their daily work, leaving barely enough supply to deal